friends and welcome back to my channel also welcome if you are new if you are new here my name is Cambria and I am a mom of three and today we are doing a whole yard transformation summer clean with me this is actually not my house it's my parents house but we are down here on vacation and we always like to pitch in especially since they let us stay rent free when we come down here so this time around we were completely redoing their backyard it was so overgrown and just taken over and we were ready to take their yard back from the jungle it had become so i'm just doing a quick before here so you can see everything as you can see my parents love plants unlike myself who does not have a green thumb my parents definitely do this process uh, I think it was a total of five days that we were working in this yard throughout the time that we were down here and it was a whole family affair so you're gonna see me you're gonna see Bobby my husband if you don't know you're gonna see my two boys Xander and Bjorn and then also my mom and dad throughout this video so I really hope you enjoy Pull me another, I'm going in. so wish me good luck yeah got it now one thing you're going to notice as I'm trimming back a lot of this stuff I go back after I've done some trimming that's purely because I would trim a little bit and then talk to mom or dad and see if they wanted trimmed more these two little gardens right by this fire pit we actually end up completely tearing out because the plants that we're growing in here are very evasive and like to take over and my parents wanted this a little bit easier to maintain in these two areas this aloe plant is really really awesome to have here in florida especially with burns and stuff but it goes everywhere and then you can also see in their backyard they have bamboo which is another very beautiful very invasive plant so if you're wondering why i go back and forth to these different gardens that is why just confirming with the parents what they want done in their backyard so another big thing that we were kind of joking about while working in these gardens is florida obviously has a lot bigger animals and some scarier animals but we've also found out that even their plants bite literally everything bites here in florida so we had to be very careful not to get stabbed throughout this entire process oh, hey, won't you pull me So I was very, very happy that my parents had this power washer. I actually already had found one on Amazon if they didn't have one that I was going to order for them, but dad did have one. So I was able to power wash this deck mainly just to get the stuff that was really 
baked on there. Obviously this is outside, so dirt and leaves and stuff are going to get back on literally within minutes. <laughs> um, but when it came to this power washing, I had to do it in sections because as you can see, the water starts to build up in it. So I would do certain sections at a time. And then luckily with the sun and heat of Florida, it only took probably 30 minutes for the patio to completely dry up and I could go back out and do some more. I also cut this patio into different areas and zones. So this portion I did in one day, but then we didn't do the rest of the patio until another day, just because one, we are on vacation, so we want to enjoy ourselves, take the boys swimming, and all do all the fun stuff like that, but also, it's just very hot, and you have to definitely pace yourself and make sure you're not going to end up making yourself sick from overworking in the sun and heat of Florida. You say all the right things when I'm hurting. You always pick me up when I am down. It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning. Yeah, you just have your ways to get me high. You make all my dreams come true. It feels right. We could break up and then make up I always come back to you You move me in a way Never thought anyone could you Get me high You're my drug when I am feeling blue Yeah, it's all you Okay, so I did not expect these little chairs to actually come out as well as they did I figured they were pretty much ruined from the sun and salt of Florida. My parents actually live about two blocks from the beach. So not only do they have the sun, but the air where they are at is just very salty. So things rust super easy and get just worn out a lot quicker than if you were in like the Orlando area, which is where they used to live. Um, however, I was very surprised with power washing. These worked really well. And then I also, in a small section, use some of this Rider's Leather Seal. This stuff is amazing. However, you're gonna see me using a glove to put it on. It has lavender in it and I am allergic. And I only did a very small section to see if it would work and give my mom the option to do the entire chair if she liked the way it turned out. But I will say this pretty much made them look brand new, so she will be doing the rest of the chairs. I, just for the sake of my hands not completely breaking out in hives, only did a very small section. Before you saw my mom helping me just to get the aloe plants out of this little garden. We actually didn't toss those. We kept them so that she could take it to her coffee shop. A couple of the girls that work for her wanted some aloe plants that they could plant. Like I said, aloe plants are amazing down here in Florida. Um, but then there are these roots from this tree that decided to plant itself. Um, as well as the bamboo that I just could not get out. So my dad brought out the chainsaw and the nippers and pulled all of that out as well. Like I said earlier, this was definitely a family affair and you get to see all of us pitching in together. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't
this point I was exhausted and this was the end of day one, but I was pretty happy we got this whole section done. And the next day we moved on to the next portion of the patio. The other nice thing about working in sections is I tried to move as much off of the patio as possible. That way we could get around, really trim everything back, as well as power wash this entire patio area. My parents have about a million potted plants in their backyard. So Bobby's just helping me out move all of them because they are heavy, but they do definitely give that like hidden garden oasis of a backyard, which I know is what my parents love about this backyard. You wouldn't know that they have neighbors right next to them because of the bamboo and the plants and everything. It really is a beautiful, very private backyard because of all the plants and gardening that they have done. So this is another part of the garden that Bobby and I went pretty conservative when trimming the first time. Uh, kind of like cutting your hair, you can always cut more but you can't bring it back. Um, so we just did a little bit and then after consulting with my parents we end up going in and trimming some more. But we just wanted to get the ones that were really climbing over. A lot of these plants like you couldn't even see the edge of the patio because everything was so overgrown so our big goal was just to make it that you had a defined patio again which for a while you really didn't I swear after all this work my parents backyard is like twice the size just from taming the jungle I do have to say though the power washing was probably my favorite part because as hot as it was this was one super relaxing and satisfying to see it becoming clean and getting any of the algae or just dirt and grime off of it but it also was really cool because the water would spray up at me so I wasn't like dying of heat unlike when I was pulling the plants then you really started to sweat and get really hot this was something that I could do, didn't matter what time of the day it was, I could do this portion of their patio and feel really comfortable even when it was really hot and really sunny.
Okay, so I'm gonna be sharing you a cool way to kind of revive this grill. As you can see, it is rusty from the salty Florida air, but I saw something where you just take aluminum foil and water and scrub it. Now, I ended up adding Bami just because I wanted that little extra abrasion, but I was shocked how well a balled up thing of aluminum foil and water alone worked. Definitely, if you have um, Barkeeper's Friend or Bami, I would use that as well. But this grill was really, really bad. And I will admit, I didn't get it to 100%. I probably could have gotten it a good amount better. Um, but just doing a quick once over on this grill for my dad, it looked so much better. And it was so simple. Like I said, literally aluminum foil, water, and I added the Bami. But I was amazed by how much of a difference this makes of it. Now, I do think the reason it works is aluminum foil has a light abrasion, so it's not really going to scratch, but it is going to help take off that surface rust. Um, it's obviously not taking off any of the bigger, actually, like, in there type rust, but any of the surface rust, it got it off and got it looking a lot better. I would say it's probably about 50% better than what it was before. And if I would have had more time to really detail, scrub, and take my time, like if I was home, I probably would have taken two or three days to work on this. That way I could come out, work a little, and go back in. I probably could have gotten this a lot nicer than I even did just with this short little hour worth of work that I did on the grill. Now I don't do this every video, but I figured I would take the time. I know I've got a lot of new followers and subscribers and I'm so used to just chit chatting with you guys that I forget that sometimes you guys don't know me because you're new. So I'm just gonna take the time to introduce myself a little bit. Like I said, my name is Cambria. I am a mom of three. I have my boys, Xander who is eight and Bjorn who is five. And then my daughter, who is, oh, she's almost 10 months old. She will be 10 months this month. That is insane. Um, I am married to Bobby. We have been to married now almost 11 years. It'll be 11 years in July. And we currently live in Wisconsin. However, a big part of this trip to Florida, not only was it vacation, but it was actually to start researching so that we can move. Bobby retires from the military in about six months to a year, and we plan on moving once he is retired to beautiful Florida. Like I said, my parents are down here, so it's not like we're just randomly moving. We wanna be close to them, but we also just both love, love Florida. It is definitely our happy place. So if you're new here, I hope you would consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, thank you so, so much. You guys truly are the reason I can have this channel. It allows me to work from home and everything, and I appreciate everyone that likes and comments and subscribes and just supports me and my family here on YouTube.
and talked about my children. Here you get to see Xander and Bjorn. They obviously didn't help us a ton, but when we were really trimming stuff back, it was a huge help to have them just help us either bring the stuff to the road or help us put it in the black garbage bag. So they helped us out with those type of things, which I am greatly, greatly appreciative for. They were such big helpers, but I think part of it was their tea, which is my mom, they call her tea, not grandma, um, told them that they were going to get ice cream sandwiches for payment for being such big helpers. So I talked about these gardens before, how they're kind of small and my parents were having a hard time maintaining them. Now I know if you follow me on my family vlog channel, you guys saw that we did artificial flowers in our garden back home because I don't have a green thumb. My mom loved that idea so much that she just for these gardens, just these little ones, decided to do the same thing. That way they had more control to keep all the weeds down and they knew they had all their other plants and these areas were just so hard for them to keep the bamboo out and everything this would allow them to put the mulch down put down some weed barrier and weed killer and stuff like that but still have the pretty gardens so we got these pink ones just in time but they did also order some white ones as well so i found it funny because for a yard that is full of beautiful plants and everything everywhere. They also had their fake plants here as well. So I'm curious if your husbands are like this as well. Now Bobby's always very helpful, however, there are days that he just gets the itch to do something and if he has the itch to do it you just let him go because he is like a freaking train and he cannot be stopped so originally we planned on just doing like the patio portion of their backyard but on this day when he started pulling and trimming and doing all of this he just kept going he went to the side of their house he went all over but i am so thankful i know my parents are so thankful because this, what he is doing right now, made the biggest difference in this backyard. It literally doubled their area because all of this area was so overgrown and it was amazing how much he got pulled out and how much extra space was made. So unfortunately, these areas are the few areas that I don't have before shots because like I said before, <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing this part of the yard, but he just went for it and we just went along. 
Um, but I hope you get to see and enjoy the satisfaction of seeing the difference that this makes just from the work that he's putting in. At the end of the video, you will see a before and after, well, befores that I have, and then the after of everything because it turned out so well that I definitely made sure to get more afters than I have befores. Now, one thing I will say I was very proud of myself is there were certain things in this backyard that my mom wanted gone. And there were certain things that my dad wanted gone, but neither of them could agree to get rid of them. This little cabana thing my dad really wanted gone. It was rusty. It didn't have the cover for it anymore, and it was just taking up space. So I negotiated with my mom to have it taken down if my father had would get rid of some of the stuff that she wanted gone, as well as hang some of her bird feeders and different things like that. So we got a lot of stuff done that, like I said, wasn't originally planned, but made such a huge difference. This was such a big piece and it was taking up so much room that it was really nice to have it down and I think now that it is down both of them really appreciate having it gone. So I was giggling at this because as my husband was uncovering this wall back here, he was in shock. He had no idea there was even a wall back here. And every time he would like trim and move stuff, he would just be like, wait, I didn't know this was here. I didn't know this little alcove was here or this little wall was here or all these things. And it had just been overgrown and all this for so many years. And my parents are semi-retired. Um, my dad retired from the Milwaukee Fire Department a couple years back. And they now both own Sweet Marley's Coffee Shop in Daytona Beach. So, yes, retired, but they both still work and own a business now. And it's just a lot for them to keep up with all this. So I'm hoping since we were able to come in and really give it a fresh start it's going to make it a lot easier for them to keep up with it and really enjoy this beautiful sanctuary of a backyard that they have
And then the last thing that had to be done after Bobby had gotten all of this debris picked up is I wanted to go over with the power washer. However, I used not the like as direct portion of the power washer, more of just a spray because these bricks are just in there with sand. So I just wanted to one, get the sand to pat down more, especially since we were moving the bricks and whatnot, and then just do a light cleaning on them. But you had to be very careful, otherwise it would just spray sand and dirt everywhere. So just doing a light little cleanup before we put the whole backyard back together. Oh, and I did want to share this pile of everything we got rid of in this backyard. Unfortunately, I didn't show the different pieces that had gotten thrown out because the garbage man had come this morning and grabbed like the metal from the cabana and all of that stuff. But this pile, this whole pile was just from their backyard. So I'm going to give you a quick before again. Like I said, I don't have nearly as many befores as I have afters. And then we're going to see how it all turned out. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe. It's just a free way to support my channel. When you like, subscribe, and share, it's a huge help. And I greatly appreciate it. That's how my channel grows. It's how I support my family. And you guys mean the world to me when you do that. But until next time, bye!